Hey, what's up, Fighters Fight Man 1995 here, and welcome to the bonus video of Mario Party 3. Last time, we went after the final star stamp, the mischief star stamp, which was captured by Waluigi, the great Waluigi. And he challenged us at his island called Waluigi's Island. We battled him and two other random contestants, and we, once again, for the final time, claimed victory on a, the last in, r Battle Royale map, which was unlockable. Defeated Waluigi for the Mistress Star Stamp. And then, later on, we have been challenged by the Millennium Star himself for the final battle. And we successfully defeated him and learned the truth of that Millennium Star and became the superstar of Mario Party 3. And what's the truth of Millennium Star? Well, I'm not going to spoil it here. But for those who want to know, check out the last part of Waluigi's Island to find out. So in this episode, we are going to be covering the rest of the topic that could have came at like earlier episode, but never got around to doing it. So we're going to be doing that today. And... Spoiler alert, we have a surprise waiting for us. Ooh, I wonder what that may be. But before we do that, if y'all could do me a huge favor and push that like button on this video, I would really appreciate it. And if you could, hit the sub button if you're not a subscriber already, because our goal is to reach 150 subs, and there are many of you still watching my videos as a non-subscriber. So if you're one of those people, please... Please, sub. I, it would mean so much, and I would really appreciate the support. Don't be that guy that leaves and without subbing. You know the drill up to this point. So, anyway. So, we could do another round of story mode, but we're not going to do that. But, we are going to be entering party mode. But, before I jump in here. So... If you have completed story mode on hard difficulty, then the, then you'll unlock the hardest difficulty of them all super hard. Which, I'm not going to really bother doing it, but maybe I will one day, maybe I won't. But instead, we're just going to go to party mode. And check out what's going on. Ha ha ha, I am the Millennium Star. Up, oh, wait. Do I see something a little inconsistent? I think I do. Do y'all see something a little bit inconsistent? Yep, that's right. Because we have cleared the story mode with Luigi, we now have a stone image of him. And... and the name of the star rank, which we got the Miracle Star, which is what I said, the best possible rank for story mode. So, click on the stone image. You, you can review your score in case you forgot to see how you did with your progress. Now, I like this idea a lot because looking at these stone image. These remind me of that, uh, monumental, or uh, historic location, Mount Rushmore. You want to know what this mountain called? Mount Mario Moore. And yes, there is a complete image for this. But for those who want the complete image, here you go. So, so we have Mario, Luigi, Peach on the left, Yoshi, Oreo, and DK on the right. And I gotta say, Peach's design looks really awful. From the picture. I'm sorry, is this... It's not that I just hate Peach, is this? I just feel like it's very unsettling on fitting. So anyway, that's just one option. Now, as I did promise, I would jump into the minigame room right now. But we're not doing that yet. Instead, we're going to jump into a random battle royale 
map boards just to cover up a couple of topics that we need to talk about. So, I'll meet you guys at a random board. Okay, so, here we are at the item description. This is, a, this is an option that's available where you can look at each item that, and throughout our journey through the story mode, we've never encountered a rare item. How, so, how about we change that and show what they are right now? Shall we? So, our first rare item, first of the four rare item is Wacky Watch. This is a rare item that Toad can give you. You can either get that from Toad, get it from a hidden block, or get it from an item bag, which I haven't seen any rare item pop out of the item bag. But Wacky Rod, use this pocket watch to change the game clock so five turns remain. What a find. So yeah, Wacky Watch. This will either increase the duration of the game, or you can make this game short if you wish. And make it, well, last five turns. And it's a pretty good item in case you're not satisfied with the result or you just want to end the game quickly. Anyway, next rare item that could have appeared is Lucky Charm. Send Game Guy to anybody you choose so that person can play one of Game Guy's mini games. This rare item is a lucky find. So, yeah, basically, you can choose anybody, including yourself, if you want to play. Some game guy mini game and hope for a chance to screw your opponent up, or maybe you're just trying to catch up and have the greatest coin lead. This is a great item to have. Third one, Barter Buck, a powerful version of Plunder Chest. Use it to trade all your items for the for all the items of any opponent you choose. It's very rare. Yeah, Barter Buck is a powerful item. And it's really good. So, let's say you're not satisfied with the item you got, and you see someone that has very good item, maybe you want to use the Barter Box. Because, believe me, Barter Box really come in handy with this game. You won't require anything with this. And then the last one is Koopa Card. This is the last of the four red items. Use this lucky card to withdraw all coins saved up at the bank as you pass it. It's like a dream come true. Koopa card is another excellent item to have, and it's very useful for if you fail to land on the bank, you can use the Koopa card at any time. You won't need to use it if you actually land on it, but it's great use if you fail to land on it during your attempt. So, that's all the rare item that we got. <laughs> do, I, do I ever tell you that while we just sound like a duck when you hit the taunt button so many times? Just listen. <laughs> I love while we just time whenever you hit it multiple times. <laughs> Got another perfect on that messy memory, right? <laughs> Alright! So here we are. We're going to be showing chance time. This was another thing that we never got to show. Because, as I said for the very first episode, chance time worked differently here. Because there's no trading this time. It's, e it's either who, who gets what prize. Who giving away, who receives. Thing can either go really good for you or 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 go bad. So Mario is gonna be giving Luigi twenty coin, but they had ten coin each, and that was because that was because uh, that dynamite exploded and all three of the AI got caught. That's why they were low on coin. So anyway. I think that's about does it for showcasing what we didn't encounter. So, 
I'll see you guys back in the main room. Alright! So we are back here at, at the main menu where we have three different stars. But now with Battle Royale map explanation done for rare items and chance time, I say it's time to end things off at the minigame room. Let's jump right in! As always, we're gonna choose our character, and thank goodness I get to play as Waluigi this time! One of my favorites besides Luigi, though I did showcase him in Battle Royale board for those two topics that I was mean to talk about for a long time that never appeared in Story Mode, but whatever! But we are here! So, mini game room. We have three different areas. This is the first one. And as you can see from the screen, we have all the minigame except for one. But who could possibly be holding the last minigame book, huh? Well, we'll find out about that later. There are four minigames that we haven't played in the story mode, but we'll be getting to that later momentarily. Uh, next we have Battle Room. Feel free to battle and try to win three five or seven set of matches on either a four-player minigame, 1v3, 2v2, battle, or even a duel. That's one of the things that you can't do in minigame room. And then, last but not least, is Game Guy Room. Now, I would like to draw special attention to Game Guy Room. So, Game Guy Room. This room is locked by default. If you were playing party mode first, then or you do not have the specific rank you need for story mode, then this room will be locked. But in order to get game back room, you need to get the Miracle Star for, with one of the six characters to finally have access to game guy room. And that is my friend, the Miracle Star, which we successfully got in the recording. Which is why I was very happy in that last episode. Check for your information. But all I'm going to say is, I'm not looking forward to Game Guy's room because this is pretty much a game of endurance. <laughs> let's just put it at that, but let's check it out, shall we? Oh boy, this just looks really cool. Looks a little curious, don't you think? Anyway, Game Guy's room works differently than a regular Game Guy space. So, we're going to play some Game Guy rules, but we're going to read the rules here because the rules here are different. Game Guy room is where a single player comes to test their luck. You start with 10 coins. Play a randomly selected Game Guy minigame, which is either the Roulette, Lucky 7, Sweet Surprise, or maybe even Magic Box. Who knows what you're going to get? If the coin you win in the Game Guy minigame reaches 1,000 coins or more, you'll clear Game Guy room. And, you also get a prize for it. Meaning that he holds the last minigame book. But we don't know what that is yet. But if your coin count reaches zero, that's the end of the game. So, let's demonstrate this, shall we? We are going to be starting the, on a, a terrible minigame. The worst of the Game Guy minigame, the roulette. And here you can see we can bet up to however many coins we like. We can bet to either 1 coin to 100 coin, which is the max limit that you can bet. But since I don't have any luck or trust in Game Guy Roulette, I'm just going to bet 1 coin because I literally about never went at this mini game. Like, seriously, the show never goes to, to the uh, character I pick. Which, knowing my luck, is probably going to happen again. And indeed it does. It lands on... Koopa. Yeah. That minigame biked. Seriously, I don't know which game is the worst. Game Guy Roulette or Mariko Chomp. I probably... I probably hate Mariko Chomp left because... Because... Mary, Mary Chunk feels very pointless, honestly. 
it has literally no meaning of the being there, where Game Guy let it die. I probably hate Mary Chan more than I do with Day of the Race, as matters of fact, too. But, yeah. But if there's one thing I would complain about for a Game Guy room, yeah. is that in the main game room, you can bet whatever whatever amount of coins you like to bet. Whereas Battle Royale or Duel Board, you can't. You have to bet all of your coins. Because it's all or nothing. And if you fail, all your coins are gone. And, and you know what? I'm going to say this one more time. I'm very glad Game Guy didn't come back in any other Mario Party game because I just really hated Game Guy so much. He just brings a bad taste in my mouth, really. So I am winning some of these mini game in that, but yeah. Ugh. Now the thing for game guy is that this game can drag on for very long. Depending on your luck. But usually how my luck is, it's not very good. As you have seen from the story mode. But I guess in the meantime, I will try to go over uh, to uh, 1,000 coins. Or at least so, by doing it. But I'll tell you what my strategy is. And that is by losing magic block. No, that's not the reason. But, basically what I like to do here is, um, basically what I like to do here is, depending on the mood that I have, and how confident I am with the minigame, determine how high I'm going to bet. But the thing is, it doesn't always work in my favor. Like, Game Guy Roulette, I always bet low. And probably this game, I probably bet very high. All things considered. All, all because your chances are way better than any of the other four minigame. It basically what I'm saying uh, towards that. But, yeah. And then Magic Buck and Lucky 7, I, I kind of stay on the median as possible. Like, stay in the middle, for the most part. So, I think after we finish this mini game, I think I'm just gonna cut ahead to the point where we get to 1,000 coins. But be warned, there may be some highlights along the way. Like, some big highlights, is basically what I'm saying. But, that's probably more than likely not gonna happen. So, I'll see... I'll see you guys when we get to seven coin. And maybe some of the highlight, if any. Holy cow, I can't believe it. I actually won on yeah. on the Game Guy Roulette. That's like the first time in a while that happened for me, honestly. <laughs> it doesn't happen very often. Okay, I'm just gonna say straight up, 
I ricked that champ for that little chump for the time four because I didn't think I was actually gonna win that, honestly. I was expecting a loose coin there. Execute order 66. <sighs> that was a close one. I would have been ticked if that time 16 won that. But I knew it had a very lower chance. But getting close to 100. <laughs> Guys, I'm just gonna say. I have a confession I'd like to freaking make after we d get done with this game, if we even can. Tr mark my words. Jackpot! Two hundred and sixty coin on that one. I bet every bit of my money for that. That is a really hard. That is a really hard one to get. I am gonna say that much. Uh, I couldn't be any more happier than that. Oh. All right, guys, we are at the halfway point now. Halfway there to done. Finish! You have got to be kidding me. It landed on a... Hardest one for that round. I know it had a little shot shot at winning, but that bite. No way! I got it again. No way! This, that is like the second time this has happened. <gasps> I bet high on that one! And we have done it! We have successfully done it! We have got one thousand coins! And we're finished here! We're done here! With the game! Since you did such a great job, here's a rare mini game as a present! This game will be on the fr free play shelf, so enjoy! Fantastic, Roluigi! You are really lucky! You know what? No. I'm not very lucky. Come play again. Come play again sometime. HECK NO! I am not- I am not playing you again. Because I have a confession for you. I'm very glad Game Guy didn't- I'm very glad Game Guy didn't make a return for Eddie Mario Party because I've been playing this game for hours. And been just having a terrible luck with the game. In fact, I actually got a game over one time during this attempt. Ugh. And all I'm gonna say is, boy, am I ever glad and so relieved that we're finally done here. Like, I thought I never was gonna get done. But for those who want to know what I was doing behind the scene was, it's just that I have more confidence on... Lucky Seven, and I started bidding higher. Aside from just a uh, sweet surprise, which there've been times where I got lucky, and then there other times where I g didn't get so lucky. But honestly, I never want to see Game Guy again. Luck based game can kiss my butt. Seriously. 
can kiss my behind. Anyway. Welcome. I got something to tell you for. You unlock one of the three minigames on the shell. All minigames are now available to play. Congratulations. Alright. So now we have all 67 minigames collected. Which means our work is done. But we're not exactly done yet. But first off, let's go to 2v2 minigame, because there are two of them that we haven't played. First one is Puddle Paddle. This is the only coin minigame that we did not get out of the minigame we played so far. Go rafting and collect coin while avoiding the Hammer Brothers. And for this one, I think I'm going to have Wario on my team. Wario Bird vs. Mario Bird. But yeah. So anyway, let's view the rules real quick. Climb aboard a two-person raft and collect the coin thrown by the Hammer Brother. We just steer and press A to paddle. If you don't work together, your raft will flounder. This is a minigame where we collect coins, as I said. But there's one problem. The direction that Hammer throw, Brother throw, throw the coin at is at random. Meaning that there will be time where it isn't thrown in the direction you're hoping it will go. But, yeah. And as you can tell, we are not getting very lucky with with some of these, where these coins are being thrown at. So anyway, RG just helped the Mario Bird get ahead of us by two coins. So, Mario Bird had 14 coins and we had 12. So, if I have to say anything about Pedal Paddle, I'm, I'm like, exceptionally glad we didn't get this minigame. Because that minigame is, like, one of the worst coin mini minigames. Because of RNG. The last 2v2 we don't have is Itch and Catch. Use Magic Crayon to draw a circle around the Toad Stamp. Uh, we're gonna have the team, same team setting. And we're gonna give it a go. Turn ha Toad has been turned into a stamp. Draw a circle around him with your magic crayon to return him to normal. And we just move. Work together and circle Toad, or you won't be able to save him. So yeah, this minigame is heavily team-based. And it's not super RNG like Puddle Paddle was. And as you can tell, my partner is doing a horrendous job. He th I'm surprised we got him there. Anyway. Uh, we have a tie game now. Wario, you need to stop drawing straight lines. Like, seriously. And this game ended in a draw. Which, you know what? That's perfectly fine. So anyway, Ishin Cat. This is another one of the minigames that I'm... Actually, glad we didn't get because, like Pedal Paddle, it's it's terrible, really. Just gonna say, say that as a confession straight up. Anyway, that does it for two v two mini game. Now we jump into the four player mini game, which we also have two mini games that we haven't played. First one is Ice Rink Risk: Dog Spike Koopa Shell on a slippery field of ice. And this is one of the easy minigames. Try to avoid being hit by the bike Koopa shell that slides around the frozen playing field. We use the control stick to move, press A to jump. The more the Koopa shell moves, moves the faster it bounces. So watch out. The last player remaining win, wins coin. And when you know it, it's ice physics. As you couldn't tell from the minigame title. I'd be surprised if anybody were were to not know that. And as as you can very well tell, this is pretty much a last man standing uh, mini game. Whoa! Oh no! I'm sliding. Ah! And whoa! Ah! And oh! I got took out. Dang it! The last second. Well, okay, I think, Rick, this is honestly a minigame I'm a little bit sad of. 
but at the same time glad, because I already have a controversial feeling, because me personally, I don't like dealing with ice physics all that much. And then, we have the last one. And that is... Where is it? Waterworld! This is the last one we don't have. Muscle your motorboat through five laps. This is a racing minigame. In fact, it's probably one of my favorite minigames to play. Jump aboard a motorboat and race. The first to finish, five laps, win. Uh, we just use the control stick to steer and A to accelerate. If you go too fast, you won't corner well. Watch your speed. This reminds me a lot like Wave Race. Do, 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 do. Swimming around at the speed of sound. Gotta do two laps now. It's time for lap two. We're gonna go for lap three now. We are far ahead in the lead. I turn too sharp. It's time for lap four to be completed. It, it, it. Final lap. We're gonna break a new record right here. Three, three seconds. I say that's pretty good. Now this one I am exceptionally sad that we didn't get because I really enjoyed this minigame so much. Well, that does it for all the the minigame that we could have gotten in story mode, but didn't. Also, Toad, I have a favor to ask you. When you get a chance, throw this, throw this stupid book away that says Miracle Chomp because that minigame sucks more than Game Guy Roulette. Miracle Chomp, my behind, really. I hate it. I hate it so much. That bloody mini game. Anyway, so here we have three of the question mark mini game. First is the Starbucks Starda battle that we did, which I do need to discuss that, but we'll do this later. Uh, this one, on the other hand, is a new one. This is called Diddy Dinchy. Set your sight on a new motorboat speed record. Now, to get this mini game. You must have played Water Worlds for this for this one. There are three different courses, I think. Yep. Course one, course two, course three. We're gonna try them all. And then there's different types. There's a non-slip type, and then there's the normal type, and then there's speed. Um I think I'm gonna go for speed. Because I'm all about speed, you know. The Sonic Speed! Shoot! One of three boat types, then try to set a new record. Uh, we just stay and press A to race. Each boat has different performance capability. How about trying different boats on different cores? Well, I might show it all. I might show it all. But then again, maybe not. Anyway. So, basically what you want to do is, you want to make sure you, uh, carefully maneuver around the course and also be careful trying to not bump into uh, any walls and that was a really short course 19 seconds and 56 not bad but I say we try a different one this time uh, course 2 for let's do a non-slip type for this one Let's see how well this plays out. Hmm. Looks like this one's better with turning. It's better with turning from what I can tell. A and I'm not really losing speed. Oh, that much. I think I picked a pretty good one. But that's- but the second one is just gonna be wacky. This is a very long one. Anyway, 26 seconds and 30. Th that's pretty good. 
And last one, course three, and obviously we're gonna do normal type. And this is a super long track. Let's go! Now, now normal type, I wanna say this one's a, um... I wanna say this one's a... A balance type board. I mean, your speed does get slowed down at time, but... But otherwise, pretty good with turning, for the most part. Well, from what I'm feeling. Those arrows do make it easy, though. And that's it! 33 seconds. And six. We have done it! We have raced on all three of the core. There's no other one. And then the game that we got from minigame... And then the last minigame we got from, from Game Guy is Mario Puzzle Party Pro. You got three minutes to score in this special Mario Puzzle Party bonus minigame. Uh, and you know what? I think I'll try it out because... Although I am very bad at puzzle game... Hey, I, that doesn't mean I can't try. Score as many points as you can. In this one-player version of Mario Polo Party, you have three minutes. Good luck! Uh, same control. In this mode, garbage blocks fall at every hundred points. If you don't last three minutes, your score won't be recorded. Ooh. That sounds pretty harsh. Also, why do I see it? See a swamp in like, um... Why do I see a swamp on... Oh. I see why. I, I probably don't expect myself to get a new record here, but if I do, hey. I guess it'd be worth something. Um, I'm gonna try to play a little bit tactical here. Though I'm probably not doing it the right way. But hey, I could dream. Uh-huh. I'm very sorry to anyone who expects me to do good. It's just that I really do suck at this game. This mini game. It yeah, it's literally one of those mini games I like never win at. Even against the AI. Now personally what I was gonna do at first I guess I should say while we're playing this game. So at first, when I tried to play um, Mario Party 3, at first I was gonna pick Yoshi for story mode, but seeing as how there was a lot of people that uh, pick, picked uh, Yoshi in the process, I mean, I guess you could say the same for Luigi, but... Yeah, I almost decided to go for Yoshi, but in the end I kind of neglected on that decision. But yeah, believe me, it took me a while to, like, figure stuff out. And... And that. And, and... And truly, in my opinion, I do think it's a great Mario Party... Party minigame. Not one of the best. But... Yeah. But, but, um, trust me here. Uh, as soon as we're done with the minigame, we're just gonna show off a few extra minigames that we're gonna be playing, because there's still some stuff that I would love to show off to you guys. And this is just for entertainment, believe me. Alright, about to get to the 200 mark. More, more trash! We love more trash! Not really. Ha! <laughs> that was a pointless twomp! And... We are done here. We got 227 points for our record. I'm pretty sure somebody can beat this record because... 
Like I said, I suck at Mario Puzzle Party. I can just state this as many times as I like. But anyway... Well, on that note... We're done here. We are officially done with this minigame, but... How about we play a few rounds of some of my favorite games before we leave? Actually. Um... And do some... Honorable game. Uh... Let's do... Uh... Actually, let's do the beat goes on, because... I love Waluigi's dance in this game. Look at him! <laughs> I, I swear, anytime I see Waluigi do the dance, I can always picture Waluigi chopping onion ring while he's playing the game. Like he's going ch 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 ch, just, just like in a rhythm or, or something. I mean, may not be for your vision, but whatever. I just like Waluigi's dance move because Waluigi well, we, just got the move. He really does got the move. I forgot where my v I forgot where my V button was. That's why you didn't see any input. But what? Yeah, yeah, whatever. I don't care if I lost that mini game or not. I just want to show up while we just dance move in this game. Since we never got a chance to like show it off or whatever. But anyway, well, let's see who wins this mini game. If it is the main I played in story mode, Luigi. You know what? That's fine. I honestly don't care if I lost this mini game. It's just playing this for fun. Um, I'm just checking to see what mini games I enjoy. Uh, personally. Hmm. Which one do I enjoy? You know what? I'll just do do a couple for you before it. And you know what? Why not? We'll play some Total Titan because that mini game rocks. Seriously, I cannot help but love this mini game. Time for the Mega Win! Wow, Luigi! We, we're gonna knock him out out. With one mega must bloom! Why do we see the best? <laughs> uh. Or I can't describe how much I love that mini game. And I think to end this game off, let's do some picture imperfect. Let's make some funny faces for one last time. A and I'm really hoping we get something funny out of Toad. But if we don't, whatever. <laughs> oh, that's a that was a pretty good that's a pretty good one for Wario. I love Wario's design of Toad. <laughs> uh, all right. I think that's enough for now. So anyway, guys. Oh, oh, and I guess I should show off one more thing. My thoughts just clicked. Um... So, Mario Polo Party. In minigame room, uh, you can do up to 1,000 points if you don't want to do 100 points. And I also forgot another thing. Stardust Battle. So, we're gonna actually do Stardust Battle again, and I think this is gonna be the true way to end it off. So, here's what I didn't mention about Stardust Battle. So, Apparently, depending on what difficulty you're playing on, depending on how many hit uh, Millennium Star takes. So, um, for easy difficulty, how did I not pick it up? For easy difficulty, you have to hit him three times. Normal difficulty, you have to hit him six times. 
Hard mode, you have to hit him nine times. And he faced the wrong way. But for this one, we're doing this on hard mode. Which means he's going to be taking more hits than usual. So, yeah. Fortunately, I'm not going to get to the star in time. You can also set a record here, too. For good measures. And barely got the hit. So anyway, n now we're on to the second phase. Super hard is also a uh, nine hit. AKA the hardest difficulty. Just for your information. Uh, run while Luigi! Run as fast as you can, don't get tagged by the comets. Oh god! That was a little too close for comfort there! Alright, let's fade. No, I didn't get the star! Keep running in circle, while Luigi! Prove your worth! Oh, so close! Two more hits left! One more hit! One more hit, and then we're gonna call it quit here! Let's do this! And we are done here! Exactly a minute and 57 seconds! We have defeated Millennium Star once again! Alright! This time! That is it! That is all I gotta show you for the let's play of Mario Party 3. So, once again, I wanna thank you guys all so much for joining me on this epic journey of another Mario Party game called Mario Party 3. So, if you enjoyed this let's play, don't forget to punch that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And all I'm gonna say is, if you have guys have been with me through the whole story mode, I thank you guys so much. And if you watch it here and watch the story mode, then I really gotta thank you guys for watching it because I've worked hard to to uh, get this project done. And this has honestly been fun for me. Even through the good and the bad time for Mario Party. So, thank you guys once again for watching it. And until next time, Still another Mario Party 3 game. Or Mario Party game, I meant to say. But anyways, once again, I am Fightman1995. See you all. Have a good day. Game on, my friend. And take care. Goodbye. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Oh, and I also forgot to mention. Be sure you expect a tier list coming up for this game later. Just to say for heads up. So anyway, bye. <laughs>